Hey guys, my name is Devin Rosalie and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can add titles and graphics to your videos to help with your storytelling, adding that extra level of detail to your content. So titles and graphics are important to give your videos some context. Whether it be showing the name of a location, or adding a brand logo, or directing your audience towards a certain part of the screen, adding these elements can help you tell a better story and improve the overall cohesiveness of your videos. So let's now jump into Adobe Premiere Pro and I'll show you how you can add titles and graphics to your videos as well as doing some basic animations to them. Alright, so for this video I thought I would show you guys the actual timeline to one of my YouTube vlogs. So as I scrub through the timeline here, you can see the different types of titles, text and graphics I use to help with the story or visualization of my video. So let's see here, first I've got my Instagram username popping up, then I put in the title of the video so that people will know what the video is about, and then I add my friends usernames, and here I show the location of where we went to, and so on and so on. Alright, so I'm going to now delete this location text and graphic so we can recreate it again together but better. So first, to add text, we're just going to click this T icon next to the timeline and then on the video preview area, just draw a box where you want your text to go. Don't worry about the exact location, we can change and move it later. Next, just start typing your text to see what it looks like. So I've typed up Lincoln's Rock Wentworth Falls, but I'm not really feeling the font and the font size, so let's change it. So go to the effect controls panel and click this drop down button next to text. This should reveal all your font settings that you can adjust. So select the text and pick the font you like. For my videos, I usually like to use Oswald Regular, and then I also make it italic. I then make the text box a bit bigger so that the text fits on a line, and then I also change it to Right Justified because it's going to be on the right side of the screen as well. These are all personal choices, so it's up to you what you like. By clicking on this arrow button, you can move the text around wherever you want. And then with the text box selected, I adjust the text size. Alright, so I'm liking that size, so let's move on to the next step. Next, let's make the smaller text below this main one. So we're just going to duplicate the current text clip we have by just clicking and dragging while holding Alt or Option up to the track above. You can then move the position of the text downwards by adjusting the Y axis position number. Just slide your mouse over the number left or right. Next, I'm going to double click on the text box and change the text to New South Wales, Australia. And finally, let's change the font size so it's smaller. 70 looks good to me. Alright, so now that we've got the text, let's look for the pin icon. So I'm just going to go to the Adobe Stock website and search for location pin. Look for the one you like and save it. You want one with either a white or black background so you can remove it easily in Adobe Premiere Pro. A PNG file with transparent background would actually be best though. This one's the one I like. So once that's saved, let's drag it into the file and position it into place on the timeline. Now to make the pin white, I search for the effect invert and drag it onto the clip. And then in the effect controls panel, I change the blend mode to lighten to make the background transparent. Then I just double click and position it into place in the frame. I also change the scale of the graphic by changing the number next to scale in the effect controls panel. Alright, so now we've got all the text and graphic at the right size, let's just position them so that they're not too close to the edge. A good way to check this would be to click this safe margins button. If you can't see the button, click the plus icon and then drag it to the bottom of your preview. This shows the safe areas where you can put your text and graphics. Alright, so I think this positioning is good, let's now try to animate it. So what I'm going to do is make the graphic icon zoom in and pop out of nowhere. And to do this, first click on the clip on the timeline, and then at the beginning of the clip, click this stopwatch icon next to scale to create a keyframe. Then move the cursor just slightly to the right, and then click this diamond icon to make another keyframe. Now go back to the first keyframe and then change the scale to zero. Now as you can see, the icon will zoom in and pop into place. You can adjust the speed of the zoom by moving the position of the second keyframe. Moving it left will make the animation faster, and moving it right will make it slower. Just keep playing the video and re-watching until you're happy with it. Alright, so now let's animate the text. So for this, I'm going to make them both slide to the left coming out of the icon after the icon has appeared. So to do this, we're first going to find the point where the icon appears on the timeline and then just click on the text clip. Then we can create a mask by clicking this box button so that the text gets hidden behind this icon. So after you click this box, you will see this mask box appear and you can move it around into place so that the left side of the box is in a similar position to the left side of the icon. If you wanted to, you could also adjust the size of the box by clicking and dragging on the corners. So next you want to invert the mask so it's masking below the icon instead of around it. 
I'm going to click the stopwatch icon next to the position that is in the text panel. This is a very important step. You don't want to change the general position one because it's also going to move the mask as well. So this will create a keyframe and then I move the cursor a bit to the right again and then click this diamond icon to create another keyframe. Now go back to the first keyframe and then just slide the X axis to the right until all the text has disappeared below the left side of the icon. Again, you can adjust the speed of the animation by changing the position of the second keyframe. You can also play with the timing of the entire animation by moving the keyframes around. Once you're happy with this, just repeat the same steps for the smaller text below. And that's it, pretty easy, right? I went on to add more animations at the end where the text disappears as well. Basically just doing the opposite of what we did earlier. So next I want to talk about a few automated motion graphics so you can add to your videos as well that are built into Adobe Premiere Pro. For this you want to activate the essential graphic panel by going up to windows and then down to essential graphics. This menu will appear on the right side of the screen giving you so many options for titles and graphics that are already preloaded onto the program. And there are so many on Adobe stock as well that you can drag and drop onto your project file too. Alright so let's just pick one and see what it looks like. Let's drag this one onto the timeline. Once you drag it in, you can double click to adjust the settings and font, etc. So in just a few clicks, I've got my Instagram username animated onto the screen. If you wanted to, you could also adjust every aspect of the animation by playing around with the keyframes and settings here on the left. Again, let's try another one. So I'm just going to change the font and text to my username, then also hide the lines above and below by clicking this eye icon. And there you go. Super easy and fast animations built into the app. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you're now able to take your social media videos to the next level using titles and graphics. Make sure to check out the other videos in this Premiere Pro for social media series and come say hello on my social channels too. See you in the next video. Bye!